And we begin tonight with this. A 17 year old struck by lightning this afternoon is now recovering in the hospital tonight. Good evening. I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sigowski. Daniel Sharkey was out doing his neighbor's lawn when he was struck. And only Channel 9's Sabrina Majori actually spoke to the neighbors who saw it happen and that teen himself. Sabrina, what did he tell you tonight? Martha, we spoke to the Daniel in the last two hours and he's in pain, but he's doing well overall. Doctors told him this was an indirect lightning hit. Had lightning struck just a few inches over, we would be telling a very different story tonight. Oh, my chest hurts quite a bit. Um everything feels you know, just, just four hours after he was struck by lightning, 17 year old Daniel Shorky spoke to us from his hospital bed. I was, I was string trimming and then the next thing I, I know I woke up, I was on the ground. I was trying to scream, but I was unable to. Hooked up to machines, he says he remembers weed whacking the moments before he went unconscious. Daniel says he knew a storm was coming and was rushing to finish tending to his neighbor's lawn, but a sudden burst of lightning sent him to the ground. I saw him laying on the ground and I yelled to my son, oh my God, Daniel's been hit by lightning. Angelina Tolbert's home surveillance system captured the moments right before and the panic that followed afterwards. <laughs> Neighbors, then Daniel's parents rushing to his side. Paramedics, then rushing the teen to the hospital. There was a tree that was maybe a yard from me. Doctors say this tree likely saved his life. You can see the jagged indents where lightning hit the tree before traveling through the tree's roots and leaving these scars on Daniel's arm. I'm just lucky that I didn't take it directly. These neighbors tell us Daniel is the first to lend a helping hand. He consistently volunteers for Second Harvest and has dedicated hours to helping local history groups. Some say it's a miracle Daniel is able to talk to us today, but he offers another explanation. I'm just, just happy that, you know, if that harm is a thing, it ends up on my side at the point of the sun. And Daniel's staying in the hospital overnight as doctors continue to monitor him. His parents told us they're grateful to neighbors who quickly sprung into action and to first responders. As for Daniel, he told us he's optimistic he'll be released as early as tomorrow. Martha and Greg. Wow, all right, we certainly here at Channel 9 are sending wow. him all of uh, the well wishes and prayers for a speedy recovery. Tom is with me right now. It's such an incredible story, and it's amazing we don't have more stories, although... My neighbor's house was struck by lightning earlier today. Uh, that's just today. 